Welcome. In this video, we will see about What is a file system? Different types of file system Advantages and disadvantages of file systems Let's start. What is a file system? File system is a collection of algorithms and data structures that perform the translation from logical file operations to actual physical storage of information. In computing, a file system determines how data is stored and retrieved. Without using the file system, information placed in a storage medium would be one large body of data with no way to know where one piece of information stops and the next one begins. FAT32 is the oldest of the three file systems available to Windows. It was introduced all the way back in Windows 95 to replace the older FAT16 file system used in MS-DOS and Windows 3. The FAT32 file system's age has advantages and disadvantages. The big advantage is that because it's so old. FAT32 is the de facto standard. Flash drives you purchase will often come formatted with FAT32 for maximum compatibility across not just modern computers, but other devices like game consoles and anything with a USB port. Limitations come with that age, however. Individual files on a FAT32 drive can't be over 4 GB in size, that's the maximum. A FAT32 partition must also be less than 8 TB, which admittedly is less of a limitation unless you're using super high capacity drives. Compatibility Works with all versions of Windows, Mac, Linux, game consoles, and practically anything with a USB port. Limits 4 GB maximum file size, 8 TB maximum partition size. Ideal use. Use it on removable drives where you need maximum compatibility with the widest range of devices, assuming you don't have any files 4GB or larger in size. The XFAT file system was introduced in 2006 and was added to older versions of Windows with updates to Windows XP and Windows Vista. XFAT is optimized for flash drives designed to be a lightweight file system like FAT32. But without the extra features and overhead of NTFS and without the limitations of FAT32. Like NTFS, XFAT has very large limits on file and partition sizes. Allowing you to store files much larger than the 4 GB allowed by FAT32. While XFAT doesn't quite match FAT32's compatibility. It is more widely compatible than NTFS. While macOS includes read-only support for NTFS, Macs offer full read-write support for XFAT. XFAT drives can be accessed on Linux by installing the appropriate software. Compatibility Works with all versions of Windows and modern versions of macOS, but requires additional software on Linux. More devices support XFAT than support NTFS. But some, particularly older ones, may only support FAT32. Limits No realistic file size or partition size limits. Ideal use, use it when you need bigger file size and partition limits than FAT32 offers. And when you need more compatibility than NTFS offers. Assuming that every device you want to use the drive with supports XFAT. You should format your device with XFAT instead of FAT32. NTFS is the modern file system Windows likes to use by default. When you install Windows. It formats your drive with the NTFS file system. NTFS has file and partition size limits that are so theoretically huge you won't run up against them. NTFS first appeared in consumer versions of Windows with Windows XP. Though it originally debuted with Windows NT. NTFS is packed with modern features not available to FAT32 and XFAT. 
NTFS supports file permissions for security. A change journal that can help quickly recover errors if your computer crashes. Shadow copies for backups, encryption, disk quota limits. Hard links, and various other features. Many of these are crucial for an operating system drive, especially file permissions. Your Windows system partition must be NTFS. If you have a secondary drive alongside Windows and you plan on installing programs to it, you should probably go ahead and make it NTFS, too. And, if you have any drives where compatibility isn't really an issue, because you know you'll just be using them on Windows systems, go ahead and choose NTFS. Despite its advantages, where NTFS lacks is compatibility. It'll work with all recent versions of Windows, all the way back to Windows XP, but it has limited compatibility with other operating systems. By default, Macs can only read NTFS drives. Not write to them. Some Linux distributions may enable NTFS writing support. But some may be read-only. None of Sony's PlayStation consoles support NTFS. Even Microsoft's own Xbox 360 can't read NTFS drives. Although the new Xbox Series X, S, and One can. Other devices are even less likely to support NTFS. Compatibility. Works with all versions of Windows. But read only with Mac by default. And may be read only by default with some Linux distributions. Other devices, with the exception of Microsoft's Xbox One, probably won't support NTFS. Limits. No realistic file size or partition size limits. Ideal use. Use it for your Windows system drive. And other internal drives that will just be used with Windows. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to get. Future updates.